Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn. I'm one of the application engineers for Hawker Systems and today we're going to be taking a look at how to use certain keyboard keys to help us maneuver around parts and assembly components. This is going to give us another set of tools at our disposal so when mouse functionality may be limited. So we're first going to dive into a part and see what some of our options are. Now if you've ever zoomed too close or just too far away from a component, you probably double clicked your middle mouse button to zoom to fit. The KEF key also works here as well, F on the keyboard. Now what about if the component you want to work on is too far to the left or too far to the right? This is where you want to use the pan functionality and you can utilize it by holding down your control key and use either your mouse to drag it, holding down your middle mouse button to the left, middle mouse button dragging to the right, up or down, Vice versa, you can also use the arrow keys as well, holding down control, left, right, up, and down. Now if you've ever needed to rotate your part exactly 90 degrees and you don't want to use your mouse, you can use the shift key. Holding down the shift key is going up, is going down the other direction, left, and right. Now what happens though if you don't need 90 degrees, if you need something like 15 or 180 degrees? You can actually go to your options, look under view, and change the arrow key angle. So when you type in, for example, right now it's set to be 180 degrees. If you need 25 or 45, you can enter in that value there. So instead of holding down the shift key, I want to go ahead and just use my arrow keys. So here if I go up, you'll see how it rotates 180 degrees. Same thing for the left and right. So lastly, in regards to the rotation, you can rotate about an axis that's normal to the view that you're looking at. So for instance, if I'm isometric, the axis that's normal to me is axis 4. So if I want to go ahead and rotate about that axis, I can hold down the Alt key and rotate about that. So the value it's rotating is based off that view angle we had changed in our system option, in this case 180 degrees. Once again, if you wanted that 45 or 75 degrees, you can go ahead and change it there. Next, what I want to do is look at an assembly, and if I want to move certain components in a certain direction, but I didn't want to apply mates or a, a distance or a coincident mate, I can use my move component. I can free drag it or move it along delta x, y, z enter in a value. My favorite is actually to right click and go to move a triad. And in this you might get a box like a delta XYZ box initially. If you don't it'll be here. You can use the triad that's available and it's kind of like our exploded view. You can left click and drag. If you like the ruler you can snap to certain values but maybe you're not very good with your mouse to get the exact value and you need the exact value. You can also use the rotation rings as well to rotate the component. But if you're not getting the exact value that you're looking for, you can always right click and go to show translate delta XYZ box. By doing this, you can enter in certain values and you can be very specific. So for instance, if I want to move one inch in the Y direction, I can type in one inch, then press OK. And this is a relative value. So for instance, if I click OK again, just left click, you can see it's moving up another inch and another inch in the Y. And of course I can mix and match between the X and the Y and Z positions. But if I want to return it back to where it was before, I can go negative three inches and press OK. And then it'll bring it back to where it was. So this will help you move your component in a specific direction at a specific value without having to apply any mates and then unsuppressing or suppressing them. So in today's video, we covered how to use the Alt, Shift, and Control key to rotate and pan around your components, as well as how to utilize your Move with Triad tool as another option to position your components inside an assembly. Thanks for watching.